Happy holidays, everyone, to celebrate the season and show my appreciation and thanks for all of your support. I am offering a 25% off coupon and I hope everyone has a merry, merry season filled with joy, love and laughter. Scorpio, welcome to your person, person's thoughts, feelings, intentions and actions reading. The energy that we have at the bottom of the deck is a ten of coins virgo energy your person is very much in the mood and mode to want a committed relationship they do feel as though you're their person that's aries energy tiki torches starry nights romance an opportunity of a lifetime they have given this a lot of thought they're very balanced it's libra energy your person is thinking very much about long-term commitment and with this Ten of Pentacles, it really is creating a very vibrant family, love life that includes great careers, hard work, building a future as a couple. Libra is a ruler of the seventh house. And when we say serious commitment, we really mean a marriage type uh, relationship. So Spirit is bringing in this energy also. The overall energy is saying be very mindful, you know, to avoid group think at this time, Scorpio. We see that for you and your person, oh, radical acceptance. Look at that. You and your person are just radically accepting the love that you have for each other. And benefactor is the grace and generosity that the two of you are going to express towards one another. When I look at this reading, I see something quite breathtaking and it makes me very happy. So your person's thoughts, they feel as though they have fire in their belly. They definitely want to go the distance. It looks like this is a relationship that's had its ups and downs, but they want, they have that fighter and warrior spirit to get to this King of Pentacles energy. The King of Pentacles is a daddy card, husband card, but your person very much feels as though the two of you have to leave some pain and heartache behind to come into union. This is a Naked Heart Tarot, and it's the only deck that I have that has number 22, 1111, Twin Flame. So your person may just be awakening to the concept that you are twin flames you know they might see it as a soulmate if they're not very enlightened about twin flames but your person is really spying on you they think about you they look you up on the internet this is kind of like a sneaky deaky card to see where you're at what you're up to but we have ten of coins twice so this person is looking at what would it take what do i have to do what strategy do i need to win to have this ten of coins with my Scorpio, my beloved Scorpio. In their heart space, we have dramatic cards of love. We have the Scorpio King Scorpio. You are in the reading, but they are too in the reading as a Scorpio energy. This is a person who feels a great deal. They keep their love sort of locked away. You know Scorpio energy. I mean, you have a tendency to hold things back. You have a tendency to be very secretive. You have a tendency not to really discuss your feelings. We have the Pisces energy of someone coming in to make a special offer to you. A very romantic roses, you know, a beautiful love note here, sealed with a, a you know red wax seal. This person's coming in very fiery, very energetic, very fast. They want this relationship to come together. It's very passionate. We see that there was a period of time um, that when in their heart space when th I feel as though they told you that you might not be right for them or they weren't headed in your direction or they weren't going to level up with you. But, and now they have remorse and regret that they would have said anything to make you believe that there wasn't a future for the two of you. And that happens sometimes early in relationships. We just blurt things out and we later find out, wow, you know, they are manifesting you in their heart space. That is Virgo and uh, Gemini energy. And we have Aquarius energy. We have Aquarius. We have Twin Flame, which is a uh, fire sign energy for 1111. Uh, That's like the Four of Wands, Taurus, Sagittarius. When we look at their intentions, 
we see that they feel the way to approach you is to definitely talk about marriage, talk about your goal, their goals with you. Now, this is a little bit of a slippery energy in my viewpoint. I'm not liking everything that I see about this. Because what we get with the Seven of Swords card, and now we get the Ten of Swords, we get the Seven of Cups, and the Two of Wands, in terms of their intentions, they definitely want to have a long-term love relationship with someone. But the tricky part is they don't know yet whether it's you. Your person is willing to go the distance to discover, explore, but they are holding out on making a decision. And if they were to make a different decision and they were to decide on someone else, which actually would be the wrong decision because you get the Seven of Cups only has one right decision, the other six are going to cause some disaster, you know, poisonous snakes, not exactly healthy. So we see this person, when they're confused, when they don't really have a clear head, that they're coming in and basically implying that they want to marry you, but actually what they're saying to themselves is, I want to be married, I want to explore the relationship with Scorpio, that's also part of this Three of Wands, but I want to, you know, I'll leave. If this doesn't work out, if I make another choice, I will leave Scorpio and I will be at a crossroads because that's where I'm at right now. I'm at a crossroads is what their, what their uh, intention is. So now when we look at the outcome, now we get a whole different vibe. This person has shocked themselves because what's happened here is they've fallen in love with you. The Ace of Cups, we see the beloved card here, a radical acceptance. This is a radical part of that acceptance. That Tower card is radical, and the Heart part is the, the love. They feel like a lightweight. I don't think this person's ever felt like this before. In fact, I would say that the friendship has been, they just kept putting you in the friend zone or thinking that that's what you were, but now we have the daddy card, the husband card, and they're shocked by it. You know, the tower card is that whatever their perceptions were, whatever their ideas were here, they, you know, it's sort of like, well, those have been dismantled. That tower has fallen because whatever this is, they're realizing that that's not going to be the way it works out. In their actions, they're in this epiphany, this sort of uh, lightning strike moment of recognition that they fell in love with you. And the Ace of Wands is a new passionate beginning. And the Three of Cups is, you know, literally celebrating life together. It's best friends, but it's also the bridesmaids dancing at a wedding. So when we look at all this wedding energy, your person's a little bit shocked. You know, they look like they're very, um, they're very comfortable financially, and they want someone else. They see you as the same type of person, but we see them feeling a little bit out of their league with you, which I think is kind of funny. <laughs> everybody's out of their league with Scorpio, <laughs> and I'll just say it straight up: everybody's out of their league. If you're not dealing with another Scorpio, and I don't think you are. This person's realizing that, you know, you have you have so much power and depth in your love that the question becomes almost as, am I good enough? So we really see your person going from being a little bit cocky, you know, up here in this sort of energy here, to recognizing that you are a powerhouse of love, that you are the person that they want to be with that they want to be this figure of stability in your life and they want to celebrate life with you. So we are going to look at some clarifiers here for your Scorpio. It's, it's kind of an interesting reading. I always think it's so funny when people get close to a Scorpio and then they have these, these tower moments. It's like, whoa, oh man, that blew my hair back. Well, of course it did. You're, you're in love with a Scorpio. So we have a card that flew out here. And we get the Fool card. So it does look as though the two of you have had interactions in the past. They're feeling quite foolish. They're coming back in to state their case to win you back. Why do we have the Seven of Swords? The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, when the time is right. So they are waiting, waiting for just the right moment to approach you. And we also get the Daughter of Swords. So that is the energy of the Page of Swords. 
it's the energy that says that you know they're spying on you they're looking they're looking at the internet they're looking at social media whatever it is wherever they can see you on the internet is what they're doing and they're biding their time so in terms of their feelings tell us about the magician card there we go father of pentacles you have the father of pentacles three times the father of pentacles is daddy father husband so you have a one two three so they are manifesting a very grounded happy abundant relationship with you we have the nine of swords energy why is it here for our beautiful scorpio friends temperance card so your person really wants to stop having regrets and remorse they want to make it work with you temperance is the alchemy of a reunion your person wants to come back in because they're they're feeling quite heartbroken the nine of swords is gosh you know i can't sleep at night because in my heart space i recognize that i want scorpio let's see why the scorpio king is here there we go ten of pentacles ten of pentacles ten of pentacles ten of pentacles like you're that person that they can manifest that with because you know we have the energy where did we see that magician i thought i saw a magician all right must have been the last reading okay but it could still appear <laughs> oh here's a magician right here in front of me there's your magician okay so they are really in their heart space they do love you they want to make this offer very romantic offer the son of cups okay so there we have th that's the knight of cups knight of cups is clarifying the knight of cups we can't make this up this is tarot <laughs> nine of cups you're happily you know eat drink be merry tomorrow who knows what will happen your person it's also the wishes granted i call it the very the fairy godmother or godfather of the tarot their wishes granted in their heart space the two of swords ooh, <laughs> they think that you ha they have competition from somebody else and they're probably right i mean this this looks like the two of swords they don't want to deal with the fear that they have competition that there's other very attractive people around you you attract very quality people high quality people you attract people who are very successful and they just don't even want to look at that energy Ooh, eight of swords if they think about it too much they'll chicken right out but the two of swords here and the two of wands here shows me that you know they in their heart space they know they want you intellectually they know they want you but their intentions are to try to play it safe and sort of skirt making any big commitments while they convince you of what they want and but keeping actually their options open why do we have hierophant judgment card so your person knows that they want to be married so that decision is made why do we have the three of coins they want to have they do want to partner with whom they can work very effectively and we see the four of swords their history is is that they're not sure that's possible with you the Four of Swords means that whatever they've said and done in the relationship, they feel as though they've left you in a state of not trusting them. The Seven of Cups is here because Three of Swords. Okay, so I do think that Scorpio, for many of you, I don't think this has been a relationship in which you declared uh, exclusivity. And I feel as though this person may have gone off for a period of time and dated some other people and right now they're still in that energy but the mother of pentacles is coming in you know we look at this the mother of pentacles is married to the father of pentacles so it does show that your person has has dated other people because they definitely know that they want their happily ever after relationship okay so now we get the seven of swords that sneaky pete energy that we saw up here so it does look like, you know, this energy is repeating itself. That's really not coming clean yet, not really being totally honest and straightforward. They want what they want, and they're going to do anything to get what they want, which is a victory in love with a happily ever after a legacy relationship. Eight of coins, getting to know you, getting to know all about you, learning you know learning enough about the relationship and the way you operate to see if the two of you are compatible 
the tur oh, <laughs> the hermit card is clarifying the ace of cups in their actions they're bit they're burning they have a burning desire for you but they have not told you yet they're burning the candle a candle of love just for you scorpio they feel very passionate about you why is that here oh they see you as the one they definitely see you as the one you are marriage material why is the page of cups here the emperor card <laughs> well that's really interesting because they know they can't come in and win your heart unless they are at the top of their game tell us why we have the emperor card here clarifying the page five of coins they feel as though they might not be good enough for you scorpio they feel like you could give them the boot tell us why the tower card is here the tower card is, that always amazes me when I lay out this many cards with this many decks, how this happens. The tower card is clarifying the tower card. They feel as though they might not have the assets or the 